Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'll have another video for you guys on a very very powerful trick in Olympia Mathematics. Before I start, I want to thank you everyone for getting 500 and 600 subscribers that quick and I really appreciate the support you've shown in the comments and it really means a lot to me and I just wanted to say thank you to all of you guys. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's start with the video. So this problem I'll show today a little trick on problems that involve three chavians that intersect in one point and yeah hopefully it will be useful. So we start with the triangle ABC, here's the problem statement, um, AA1, BB1 and CC1 are three chavians that intersect in one point X and AH is the height of triangle ABC. Uh, then what happens is you reflect H about A1, C1 and A1, B1, which are red and blue lines, and you get points HR and HB, and you want to show that basically uh, A, HR and HB are collinear. So, as you know, I'm a firm believer in good point, bad point method. If you didn't watch my videos on this method yet, then please do so. I think it's the best geometry video on YouTube right now and nothing will help you to improve in geometry more than that video. There's two of them, but it is what it is. So uh, here what we want to realize is, first of all, we don't really understand the relationship between points H and lines A1C1 and A1B1. And in order to somehow understand points HR and HB, in order to prove the question, we kind of need to make h work more with a1c1 and a1b1 so right now our priority will be just exploring uh, this construction rather than thinking about points hb and hr and now i'm going to show you this trick that i talked about in olympiad geometry where you have three chavians that intersect in one point and you kind of need to look at these two lines so if you need to look at lines a1c1 and a1b1 this is the trick that you will need. And the trick says that if you intersect lines A1C1 and A1B1 with a line parallel to BC from A, you'll get equal segments. So essentially, if you take points P and Q here, uh, then you'll get something like this. So in order to prove this, you don't need anything but the Chavis theorem. So the Chavis theorem is the following. If you have A, B1, E1, C, and then C, A1 over A1, B, and then B, C1 over C1, A, so this fraction, it is equal to one. And the other thing is that we do know that AQ is parallel to A1, C, and therefore you do know that this is true. A, B1 to B1, C, is the same as uh, AQ to A1C because triangles B1, A1C and B1, Q, A are similar. And in a similar reasoning, we can also show that B, C1 to C1, A, B, C1 to C1, A is the same as B, A1 to A, P because triangles A, P, C1 and uh, B, A1, C1 are similar. And as you can see, a, B1, B1, C is the same as A, B1, B1, C equals A, Q over A, 1, C. And B, C, 1 over C, 1, A, which is prevalent here, is the same as B, 1, B, 1 over A, 1, P. So if we substitute these two in, then we get that A, Q over A, 1, C, which is this, times C, A, 1 over A, 1, B, and times B, C, 1 over C, 1, A, which is this, you get 1. And as you can see, C, 1, C A1 and A1C, A1B and B1A, BA1, uh, they cancel. So we're left with AQ over AP equals one, which is uh, essentially AQ equals AP. And <clears throat> so why is this useful to us? Uh, the reason is because first of all, we can get rid of points B and C in the question. So when we looked at the problem statement, we kind of knew that everything revolves around triangle A1, B1, C1, but we didn't really understand how to uh, get rid of points B and C that were a bit random. Now it's a bit clear, so now we can rephrase the problem as there's a triangle QPA1 
and H is such a point of the perpendicular bisector that HA1 is parallel to PQ. And then you basically say that you reflect point H about the two lines, uh, PA1 and uh, QA1, and you need to show that the line that you get passes through point A. Now, the main idea now is that we can use a theorem called the Steiner's line. And the Steiner's line basically states that if you have a triangle ABC and a point on the circumcircle, and you take this point on the circumcircle and reflect about the three sides of the triangle, the three points will lie on one line. Uh, so essentially, if we're talking about uh, taking point H, and if we reflect point H about three side of about so uh, the theorem states that essentially if you have a triangle in the side, I'll call it KLM, and then you take a point uh, M on the circum on the circumcenter, and you reflect point N about three sides, so about KM, ML, and KL. Uh, these three points land on one. The reason, uh, the proof was basically just taking the midpoints of n n prime, n n prime two, and n prime one, and you'll get the foots, and that's just Simpson line. But the reason why it's useful here is because point H is a bit random, and these two lines uh, we reflect point H about. So when we reflect point H about uh, a1c1 and a1b1 the only thing that we actually uh, are interested in is that now we can just assume that for any two points that one lies on the red line one lies on the blue line uh, what essentially happens is that uh, yeah uh, we just know that the line that passes through these two points the red point here and the blue point here, we know that this line will be the Steiner line of the triangle. So essentially the only thing that we need is that for A to land the Steiner's line. And since we wanted three reflections, it's quite logical now to draw the perpendicular bisector to HA. The reason why it's logical is because now for this triangle here, so this triangle here and let's mark it white for this white triangle uh, we do know that all three points so point a point red and point blue they are a reflection of uh, h about basically the three sides of the triangle right so now the only thing that we need to uh, understand this whether h lies on the circumcenter of this triangle so that's the only uh, thing we need to guess so because if they are cyclic like this then by the theorem of the steiner line the reflections of h about the three sides so point a red point and blue point they all are collinear so we're just left to prove that this is cyclic however we do note that the shape that we get right here is a parallel is a kite is uh, a deltoid the reason is is because the this diagonal here uh, is the perpendicular bisector of the diagonal ah and as well we know that this shape here is a parallelogram because uh Actually, A was the midpoint, and this is the perpendicular bisector, so these two are midpoints as well, because this is the height uh, is the same as the height from A1, A1 to uh, PQ. So therefore, these two points are the, seg uh, are the midpoints of segments PA1 and uh, QA1. So this is a deltoid, and this is a parallelogram, and therefore, angle uh, that's here, uh, it's black, but not very nice to choose it's black. But uh, basically, if uh, we take this angle here, it must be equal to this angle here, because this is a parallelogram. 
and as well it is equal to this angle here because it's a kite and therefore uh, these four points are cyclic and we're done with finishing the problem by the standard line so the thing that i want you to take away is the simple idea of intersecting a1 p and um, let's delete this so the idea that i want you to take away is uh, if you have uh, height a h or lines a1 c1 a1 b1 you can try to do this simple trick because uh, it does give you more information so it's usually nicer to work with uh, pa equals aq rather than the chevis theorem of here so yeah that's one way to go about solving such a question and the other thing is that uh, the statement that three chavians a a1 b b1 c c1 intersect in one point and these two segments being equal are equivalent so therefore you can always uh, if you have um, a1, C1 intersect a line parallel at P and the other one at Q and these two are equal, then you know that three chavians intersect in one point. That can be sometimes useful as well. But that's the trick I wanted to show you today. And I thought that there's a nice uh, standard line idea here as well. So let me know what you think about this trick. Did you like it or no? Do you want more short videos like this uh, with simple tips and tricks? On the channel or do you want to come back to more of like explaining stuff uh, and more content heavy uh, videos that i had previously but yeah that's all of what i have uh, today for you guys thank you for watching uh, yeah and uh, have a good day